Hello, welcome along. Let's focus on City to begin with then because they've won the last eight out of nine available in terms of domestic trophies. And Pep has said, guys, that it's going to be incredibly difficult for anybody to replicate that. I don't think that's necessarily um, uh, an outlandish statement, to be honest, Merce. What do you think? No, I don't. I, I think it's been phenomenal what they've done, let's be honest. I mean, I, I give, it's a give me for them to win the Carabao Cup every year. You know, they've got internationals in, in every position twice over. So when they rest four or five players, the four or five who are coming in would probably get in the other team who they're, who they're playing against. So for me, you know, yesterday, Kevin De Bruyne's not playing. They go to Real Madrid without Fernandinho, Aguero, Sterling, Silva. Yeah, no one could do it. Liverpool couldn't do that. You know, even though Liverpool that far clear, they, they couldn't leave out four players of that, that quality. Do you think they couldn't? Or do you think that it's just that they choose not to take those competitions as seriously? No, I think they I don't think they've got the squad that Man City have. You know, as, as Mer said, they're internationals. They're, they're that good. I'd like to see Liverpool bring in sort of players that can compete with the Salah and Mane. You know, I don't think Lallana, Origi are quite there, even though they've been great and have had a fantastic season. I think over the course of, if you're going to compete in all the competitions, I think it's very difficult. That's why he plays lesser teams, because he needs to keep his best players fresh. Um, I, I think Liverpool, I think Liverpool could go and dominate if they bring in three or four players who are going to be like Man City, where they've got a the squad depth, and then they can really kick on because Klopp's got it bang on there with everything that they're doing and the philosophy that he's got at the club. I think they can go and do that, but you know, you can't take away from Guardiola what he's done. And actually, City this season, they have had injuries of their own to battle with too. So does that make this win in the Carabao Cup a little bit better? Uh, really, I mean, the, the, the main injury was Laporte. There's no <coughs> doubt about that. I mean, it's like, it's like taking Van Dijk out of Liverpool's team. I really think, you know, for all the world-class players that Man City have got, I think he was the one player they couldn't miss. And I think that's yeah. been proven. That's been proven because Fernandino comes back in as the best, probably the best holding midfield player in the world of football. Even at his age, I still think he's he's in the top two or three. So for me, I, yeah, I mean, he was the big one. The others, as I, I just, I, I say every year, I, I, it doesn't shock me that they win this competition. It really doesn't. What shocks me is how many points they're behind Liverpool. And when you look at it, in a way, is West Ham go to Man City and sit 11 behind the ball for the whole 90-odd minutes. And then they, a week later, they go to a team that haven't lost the game all season, won every game at home, and they open the game up and have a go at them. I, it's, it's really weird. It's like, it's, it's still got... The, Man City still carry that bigger fear factor where teams will go and play Man City and think, we've got to be careful here because Man City could put six or seven against us, but you don't get that with Liverpool. Which is, is strange, yeah, really, because, you, you know, look what Liverpool have done. The numbers they've put up is just absolutely phenomenal. Why do you think it is, then, that, that Liverpool are in the position that they're in if we've just spoken about the amount of depth that City have in their team compared to Liverpool? Men mentality, for me. I mean, if you look at how they finished the season and getting pipped at the post by Man City, they kicked on again and was like, you know, we're going to do it, this is our season. And they hit the ground running. You know, Man City lost Laporte, lost a couple of games, and Liverpool just, they just, you know, they went and you couldn't keep up with them and they took off winning so many games. And I think it was just that they have now come together as a club and it's took them a few seasons and now they've come together as a team and everyone's at their peak. You know, Henderson's been unbelievable. Salah, Firmino, Mane, they've all been playing at their best. And this season, I don't think Man City or any other team in the Premier League has been anywhere near good enough to compete with them. They've obviously had their off-the-field issues as well at Manchester City. So this win in the Carabao Cup, what will that do for the fan base? Uh, fan base where? World? Worldwide fan base or fan base in Manchester? Um, I didn't really want to be specific there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I don't. Basically I mean, what you're saying is they ain't got the fan base. Well, no, the name of the game is, you know... It's the Surrey-based fan base. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, the thing is, with, with these teams, they, they want to be a brand. You know, they, they, Man City need to get to, to get to where Man United are. Where you, you go to Africa, you go anywhere, any continent in the world, everybody's got a Man United shirt on. Everybody, or, or, or a lot of people. Yeah. And that's what Man City need to do. So the more trophies they win, like this, means that when kids are growing up and they're watching these games abroad, they go, because they change their team every five minutes, I'm going to support Man City because they're winning everything. So 
That way, it's bigger. I don't, I don't understand why other managers don't take it as serious as Guardiola does. It's a trophy you can win early on in the season, mm. and it's a final. You know, so strike. And for me, it's a, it's a, it's a class as a major honour. Yeah. It's a big competition, and it's one you can get in a trophy cabinet before the end of the season. What I, you know, the hardest thing for me is at the end of the season is to keep going and keep going, and then you've got to play a final at the end of the season. If you can win one in February. Um, Great springboard. Isn't I it? can't Great. see why people don't take it serious because a lot of teams have only got two trophies to go for in the league. In the Premier League, they start the season and they got a chance to win in the FA Cup, in the Carabao Cup, and they rest 11 players. I mean, it beats me. It really does. It was interesting what you said, Mars, actually, about becoming a global brand and, and following the footsteps of Manchester United. And last season, perhaps it looked that way, that they were moving to that direction with, with, with younger fans starting to be Manchester City fans and that kind of thing. Um, let's have a look at the major trophies that Pep Guardiola has won since his time at Manchester City. It's quite incredible, really, isn't it? Um, so this is since he joined Ju July 2016. He's been so dominant, double the amount of Chelsea, double the amount of Liverpool, Manchester United trailing with two and Arsenal with one. And obviously a couple of community shields in there too, which I don't think anyone in this room really classes as a, a proper trophy. But <laughs> I would. <laughs> well, I know you would, Jamie, yeah. <laughs> um, but that's the kind of dominance that we're expecting under Pep Guardiola. When you look at what he might need to do in the transfer market, this one especially feels crucial for them, doesn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, it's a massive, massive market coming up for them because they've got to catch up with Liverpool. Mm. And, and Liverpool are going to sign some players for me. I think you're going to see some big signings in the summer from Liverpool because they're going to know that to stay on top, they've got to, you know, they've got to improve the squad. So for Man City, it's going to be huge that they get in some, some big players. Um, they need a couple of centre-halves. We've said it. How long? How many times have we said it? They needed centre-halves. I, I still think they could have... You know, really with the Champions League still going on and competitions that they're still in, should have got one in January, but they didn't, mm. chose not to. So, um, yeah, I mean, look, he's been unbelievable since he's come in, Guardiola. What he's done, the way he's put a philosophy into a football club, and not just the first team, throughout that whole club now, mm. is a philosophy that Guardiola believes in and a Man City believe in. So he's changed that club, he's changed the way football's played in England, and for me, he's still the best manager in the world. We talk about centre-halves, um, John Stone's got a start at the weekend. Um, he himself even, even was excited and, and missed the last couple, actually, Carabao Cup final, through injury or, or whatever reason. And he actually played in this one and started and got a bit of criticism because he was at fault for that, for that Villa goal. Do you think that was fair? I don't. I've been probably one of his biggest critics because I, I think he's, he's a good player but just makes mistakes, take liberties. <coughs> I, just, I just felt he fell over. I just, he just lost his balance. He fell over and he got punished. I mean, <laughs> it's a great ball. It's a great goal. I felt for him yesterday. I, I did. I felt for him. I mean, I can understand if he's doing a Cruyff in his own box and he gets the ball stolen off him. He's gone back and he's, he's just lost his foot and he's got punished. I, I felt for him. I, I, I hope that he becomes the player he should be. I really do, because he's a talented player. But sometimes when I watch him, he's too talented. I mean, that might sound silly, but I think sometimes, he, he's, 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 sometimes he's too good. And, you, and when you play at the back where he plays, just watch, I think he likes watch, just watch Van Dyke play football. Just watch him. Yeah, he's the best centre-half no in sense. the world. He gets the ball. And he gets it and he just rolls it to the midfield player or he rolls it there and he might hit the odd diagonal. You never see him trying to take anybody on. He's, honestly, he's literally like, go on then and I'll just wait, I'll stay here. And, and that's what he's got to do. He's got to watch someone like him who, who's become the best in the world by doing nothing special. Does he do that by staying at City? I don't think he'll be at Man City. I don't think the manager trusts him enough for him to stay there. I think there'll, be a, I think there'll, there'll probably be a little bit of a, a mini clear out you know, let's be honest, if you, if you keep on doing what you're doing, you're going to get the same results. So this, this squad with Laporte in it will do well to do Liverpool next season, really. They're 22 points behind now, or, or how many it is, 19. So for me, I, I think there'll be a few changes, I think a few on their way to get the money in, because they're not going to, probably not going to be in the Champions League. Mm. Um, Champions League this season though looking alright so yeah, far yeah, um, now that they've got the Carabao Cup under their belt that's done the league seemingly has drifted away they've kind of accepted they have a better season than Liverpool they could, yeah well they have accepted that the league is, is out of their reach now even if mathematically it isn't quite yet but that's an interesting point you make there they could still have a better season than Liverpool they yeah. can't don't listen to that but you can't they, they can't. can't they can't they can. no don't no, so no, if no, they no. win the Carabao no, Cup no. the FA Cup no. and the Champions League is that no, not a better season no. than Liverpool? Liverpool haven't won the league for 30 years. 
That's because they weren't good enough. Yeah, but that, that, that's 30 years without winning it. So that, that's a feat to go and win it. But is that that's... a better league just, it's a better season just no, for Liverpool? No, no, no. Versus... When you win the Premier <coughs> League, that is 38 games. Week in, week out. You turn up, you grind it. Sometimes you get beat like you get beat against Watford and you turn up again, you win the next week and you keep on grinding results out. You, Liverpool yeah, won the on, Champions right? League last year and lost more games in the Champions League than what they did in the Premier League and never won it. And they won that. How's that work? So that yeah, tells you everything. It's the, the, the ultimate. It's the ultimate. The Premier League, week in, week out. Any the FA Cup and the League and the Carabao Cup. Man City win the Carabao Cup because they, they, their squad's massive and they got two teams. The FA Cup is won by the draw. You, you, the team don't win the FA, the FA Cup. The draw wins you the so FA Cup. The Premier League's bigger than Champions League. Of course it is. Much bigger. Well, you'd rather you'd rather win the Premier I'd League. I'd rather win the Premier League every day of the week. Every day of the week. Wow. Thirty-eight games. Thirty-eight games. Wait, how many games you got to play in the Champions League? You got to play three in the. You got to play three in the. A few. You got to play three in the best quali- teams in in. in yeah, but you got to play three in the qualifiers. That's all you got to win. You got to win three of them and draw one. So you can lose two, win three. So you've lost Real two Madrid, games. Bayern Munich. Real Madrid. No, Real you know, Madrid are not the team they were. Ask any player. I guarantee. you. No, ask any player. Well, now, in the they, modern they, day, they don't. They don't no, they're not. That, for me, League. you can say they can say that. But for me, if you as a professional footballer. Over a grind of a season, 38 games win the Premier League is yeah, for me is the ultimate. But the ultimate for me. For the, you've only got to have one bad 45 minutes in the Champions League, and that's it. Good night, isn't it? I mean, exactly. That's why it's the pinnacle oh, yeah, to win it against the best in the world. Yeah, best in the world. You can play hardly anybody. You don't have. It's the draw. The draw wins you it. Well, not in the latter stages. If you get to the latter stages, you're going to get the best. Why you're going to get you? the best teams. Why are you? Because it's the Champions League, so you have to beat the best to, to you, end you up. You might only have to play once. The best in once. The end. One team you might have to play. So oh, yeah. Man City have got Real Madrid, who are, who are oh, top no, in the league, yeah, and but, they've still got to play Real Madrid. They're not even no, in the quarterfinals yet, are they? Seriously, Real Madrid. Real Madrid. Yet, Madrid. That's Real Madrid. This is not the Real Madrid of old. Seriously, come on, let's be honest. They're top of La Liga. Oh, because they're top of La Liga. What's the difference that mate? Top of La Liga. The league is not. You don't tell me that's a stronger league than the Premier League. No, no, I'm not. Exactly. So why shouldn't they be top of it? No, I'm not. No, I'm sorry. That's me. I mean, Champions League is just because it's everybody's made it this big thing. It's a big money thing, and it's. But when it was the European Cup, yeah, Champions League was the ultimate for me. You, you, it was you get knocked out two legs. You can lose five games and still win this competition. Yeah, but you can you can lose that in the Premier League and still win. Well, you won't. Well, you're five not or now. six. You lose five or six and still win. Over 38, not over over six, eight, ten, over about 12, 13 games. So you can lose nearly a third of your games and win the Champions League. Well, I just <laughs> could have got, got <laughs> No, no, it's, that's, 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 your, that's only your opinion, my opinion. I'm just saying, turning up week in, week out is, you know. But it is, it, no, it is a, it's an interesting debate, though, because ultimately what you're saying is any cup competition is decided by the draw versus the Premier League, where, like you say, you've got to grind I'll tell you what, if Man City, out, if Man City out. play Man United away in the third round, Arsenal away in the fourth, Tottenham in the fifth, Chelsea in the sixth, mm. they'll do well to win the FA I'm Cup. I'm telling you now, if Liverpool only win... Well, listen, they won the Club World Cup and the Super Cup. But if they Aww. win the Premier League this season, Man City win the Carabao <laughs> Champions League and the FA Cup, Man City have had a better season.